Okay, right now we're going to start working with Lulu on the go to bed command. All right. uh, we're going to teach her to lie down on the mat and not move until she's released. All right. and then when we do this, the way that we start this is I'm going to touch her nose with the treat. She's going to toss it. Lulu, go to bed. I'll wait, for her. I'll wait her out when she comes back. Oh, okay, there you go. Lulu, go to bed. That's it. Okay, a little distraction, that's okay. There we go. What do we do? I'm just gonna wait her out. I'm not gonna sit down. I'm not gonna re keep repeating the command. I'm just gonna wait her out till I get what I want. Good girl, that's it. some food on the mat, okay? I don't want to sit there and repeat the command a bunch of times because I don't want to think, I don't want her to think that the command is, Lulu, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. I just want her to think it's one time when I say it. Very good. Okay, and I'll tell her to stay with my open hand like a stop sign, Lulu, stay. I'm just gonna get up and move around just a little bit and I'll come back and treat her. We're gonna work baby steps. We're not just gonna all of a sudden walk, you know, into another room and get her and expect her to stay. Very good, very good. You know, especially if we're gonna be taking her out in public, we definitely wanna get the stay to be really, really good. All right, good girl. Okay, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna tap her on the head and I'm gonna tell her release. Lulu, release, okay? And what that is telling her that I'm done giving her commands. She doesn't have to move if she doesn't want to, but she's allowed to do what she wants. Good girl. Okay, we're getting there.